My money so blue like Lilo. Sack it up one time, then reload. Might talk to your bitch, then repo. Swimming all up in the pussy, no need no more. Like Jack Frost, my wrist so free, so diamonds looking all cut like Rico. What up, what up, what up? I'm here in the streets of Bangkok recording. Just kidding, I just want to play with my green screen. But if you're returning, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. Uh, think about subscribing and following and some of my other social medias. I'll be making more tutorials, so stay tuned. But without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, so step one here is we're going to go to Corsair's website to the download section, and we're going to download the program and software that goes with the keyboard that you own. Mine's a K70. I would download this one right here. And then step two, once you have that downloaded, you want to bring the program up. Alright, so make sure you have the keyboard part highlighted like I do right here. We're going to go over here to the default. We're going to click on that. And this is the profiles. This is the where you're going to set the macros up to different games. So we're going to click the plus sign, create a profile. We're going to name it PUBG. And then you want to link the pro the profile to the program. So we're going to click it here to the PUBG. This should be in your Steam games. We're going to assign it to that. And that's important because you don't want the macro to be working all the time. You want it to only be turned on when you're playing that game. All right, then we're going to go to the actions part. This is where we're actually going to record the macro. So you're going to hit the plus sign again. And we're going to come down here to the record button to record it. Now I'm going to hit my, my jump button, which is space, hold it down. And then I'm going to hit the crouch button and hold that down and let them go both at the same time. So for me, space is jump and C is crouch. Yours may be different, so put whatever yours is there. But we want to go to delete all delays. So it should look like this when it's done. See, they're both in, and then you both let them go. And then we're going to assign that to the letter. I like to use X for that. It's kind of close to C, but I'm pretty, I don't hit it too often on accident. So that works for me. You guys can put it wherever you want to put it. Then we're going to go to lighting actions here. Now I like to assign uh, this whole profile and give it a different, a whole different scheme than my default. And I do that so that I know when the macro is turned on. It's kind of a visual cue. Or if I start up PUBG and I see that my keyboard has not changed, then I know that maybe there was an update or something's not working right. So when I'm doing nothing, I'm just browsing the web or whatever, it's doing that. When I start up PUBG, it should change to that, and you see it's assigned to the game. You got the macro here, it's assigned to X, everything looks good. And then, really, that's all. That's all you got to do. All right, so I'll load up the game real quick just to show you some examples here. As you can see, you can definitely climb a lot easier. But no, that's it. If uh, the video helped you out, give it a like, leave a comment, share it. That's about as easy as it gets.